tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Yes! Mama, mama Bring bear. it in, Christina. Oh. Hello, everybody. You're watching and listening to AfterBuzz TV's <laughs> the, voice the Voice Episode After Show. That's what we're doing. I lost it. It's season eight. Take two. Tonight, episodes two and three. Before we get started, if you're not subscribed to us on YouTube, what are you waiting for? Do it. Ding? If you comment, if you love us, if you hate us, we will write you back. And Five if you're listening stars. on iTunes or SoundCloud, welcome. Subscribe there as well. We're using the hashtag ABTV Voice tonight. We're all on Twitter. I'm Jason Eichler. You can find me at Jason Eichler. Chloe, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Chloe West X. Stephanie, did you get off your phone and start? No, tweeting? I'm on my phone because you guys can find me at Stephanie Georgie and feel free to tweet me during this show. Oh. I take it that's back. What we're, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> and Christian, where can we find you? I'm, I'm just trying to absorb everything Stephanie just said. Um, I'm Christian Rosenberg. You can follow me on Twitter at Real Rosenberg. Cool. Awesome. So let's just hop right into it. We are going to recap nights two and three. So bear with us. There's a lot to talk about. A lot about. of people. We're breaking it down by teams. I'm going to need a little more volume in my oh, headphones. No. Uh, let's oh. start with Team Is Pharrell. that yours or mine? I'll show you yours as you show me mine. Or <laughs> this got that awkward. Is. Okay, <laughs> let's talk about what Anthony. He is there. We go. I got okay. to audience. Awesome. He's the Great. 27 Fantastic. year old from Philly. He's saying, I feel good. We're going to hear a little bit of that right now. I have a hard time paying attention oh, wow. to this song because it reminds me of It Takes what, Two. What just came out there? <laughs> really? I like this guy. So, this guy's story is he is a street performer in Philly and he ended up like taking this crazy case to court and he won best street performer and i thought he did so good i really liked his performance yeah this guy is just like the old school full-on performer yeah absolutely i'm not sure what else he'll be able to do you know like how branched out he can be but i really enjoyed this performance it got i think it's good but it got a little gimmicky for me Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like it was like you were watching one of those old movies where they're reenacting a performance. See, I did. And not necessarily I felt, current. It felt true to me with what he was doing. Like I felt like he was feeling it, but I just feel like he might be, you know, just a James Brown okay. soul singer. I I think this guy, like I think he could bust out some uptown funk. Um, you yeah, know, like but some isn't that Britta Mars stuff? But that's catering to that type of music. Yeah, right. Um, but, I I'm, think... but I'm saying you're talking about want like current artists. That's valid. Yeah. I think that YouTube and The Voice and American Idol and all the scene shows ruined it for all of us because he clearly has a great voice, but it's just, something was missing. Like, he was great, but it's just something we've heard before. I we've heard other great artists it's like It's good, this. but I think music today we want to connect to on a personal right. level, and this isn't necessarily a song you watch and you have, like, an emotional connection to. Yeah, this is something, like, you could re replicate, like, in Vegas. Exactly. I mean, if I'm drunk at a wedding, I'm going to have an emotional connection to That's this true. song. <laughs> if I'm drunk at a wedding, I'm going to have lots of emotional connections. <laughs> All right, next up we well, have... Well, let's talk about he was Pharrell. Oh, pick. Team he, Pharrell. Yeah, he's on Team Pharrell. I actually think Pharrell will be the perfect choice for him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, next up we got Mia. She is the 15-year-old from Pittsburgh who's saying The Thrill is Gone by B.B. King. She does not sound 15 at all. Dude, she, that was awesome because she when they were saying how they were how they were going to be surprised at her voice, I was like, okay, everyone says that. Let's see. I was surprised at her voice. I thought yeah. she sounded awesome. Yeah, she like... Her look and her speaking voice seemed like old school Christina Aguilera. Mm -hmm. And then she said she was from Pittsburgh. And then she came out there and did this super soulful, like, oh, just like, like yeah. I can't even describe her voice because it's just so Dirty. different. Yeah. Her voice to me, I'm going to like take it really tween here, but her voice reminds me of a cross between Camila from, um, from Fifth Harmony and Christina Aguilera. Okay. Like she's got that same mm. sort of like light tone but it's still really powerful 
And I, I think she's great. Yeah, yeah no, no, absolutely. It's, it's, I found it almost like sultry, and I find myself very uncomfortable saying that, describing a 15 year old singer. But that's saying really. Saying her voice is sultry. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, I mean, but she it's feels creepy, it, because that's, that's what I was. Yeah, just a little bit, right? I was wondering where she'd find her own connection with that type of music, but I mean, since but her right family there, performs. Though, well, and, and she's had experience. Yeah. And there's yeah. just no way that you're 15 if you haven't been singing this type of music for at least. Four years prior. And to have that sort of range yes. and control over it mm -hmm. at 15. Well, and she's identified her sound already. Yep. You know, she could easily have used like the other tones that she had, her other ranges, but she stuck to this one part. And she that's knew actually how to why it. I think Pharrell is a better choice for her over Christina because I think she already has her sound developed. Exactly. So Pharrell can help uh, take her as an artist. Mm -hmm. Well, he knows what to do with that yeah. sound, probably. I think if Christina would have turned around, though, she would have gone with her. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, she wanted to go with her from the beginning anyway. She said that was her choice, no? Yeah, yeah. But I, I think Pharrell is I, an interesting Is ideal. Pair, yeah. I, I agree. Okay, up next on Team Pharrell was from tonight. We've got Kimberly, Nicole, who sang Nutbush City Limits. Yeah, this, this was, was cool. Fun. That was a New York performer, right? She, yeah, she's mm -hmm. a pop singer from New York who has the economics degree, worked right. in corporate America, and then left. Yeah. I almost feel like she has an androgynous voice. She like um, you, there's like no gender quality to it. It's so cool. I love I love everything about this girl, and I really can't wait to watch her grow in the competition. Yeah. Her energy is really fun and cool. She's cool and without being like a jerk. You yes. know what I mean? Well, she's very New York. It's like East Coast swag. They're yeah. they're always super cool. She in the best way possible with alongside with the androgynous, um, like dragish. She kind of reminds me of like a drag queen performance. Oh, the way she like hits the notes, kind of. Yes. Um, I thought her runs at the end were insane, yes. and I don't think Blake wanted her. I don't think so His either. His pitch was so stupid that I was like, if you if you don't want her, don't turn around. Right. But I think that's so rude to not even try to fight for somebody. I feel like maybe he thought he was just like out of his league, and so yeah. he just kind of threw yeah, it away. He, he just knew he wasn't well, going to win her. Yeah, but he also turned around and like his opinion changed throughout the performance. Maybe. Oh, that's true. That's true. But I felt like she got better as she went on. I think so too. She's she's energetic. She's confident. We want to see more of her. Yeah. Don't you want to go to her show in New York now? Yes. Too? Absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Fly us out. Let's take it. Um. Up next was it Travis Ewing? I think Travis so. Travis Ewing was next. Yes. He's saying "Say My Name" by Destiny's Child. Oh man. And he's the guy that does all of that. I don't know what that machine he plugs everything into is the called. Looping. Like the looping. He does the looping. He's super talented. He kind of reminded me of like an Ed Sheeran vibe. Mm. I think. I love a white boy who can sing like yeah, this. I thought he sounded amazing. I actually wish he would have gone with Adam for stage presence. Okay. Because I think he looked like a deer in headlights. And I think Adam has really, really good stage presence. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's what he needs the most work on. Mm -hmm. I think so too. I think. It's cool that he's on Team Pharrell. Okay, wait. First off, though, we got to talk about this. How pushed was that seventh grade teacher video? Like, he was like, I haven't talked to her in 10, ten years. I that know. was cool. Like, <laughs> come that on. That was so awesome how you guys found that. He was that. like, yes, I that's so where amazed. it started. I mean, <laughs> but not like that. He's like, what's her name? I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad. I love when, I mean, this, this type of audition goes back to the first season of The Voice. Um, when that, when, uh, what's her name, did the Kanye song? Oh, Dia. Dia, yeah. When Dia Frampton did the Kanye song on the piano. Like, I love when people do this on The Voice. And this is a great example of of a guy doing, like, mm -hmm. a Destiny Child Absolutely. song. It's so great. And, and it sounds a sick-ass arrangement. Yeah, it Excuse sounds me. really good. And he's very talented, which I think is why he will be good yeah. with Pharrell, mm -hmm. you know? Well, especially after we saw him in his intro video play, like, that super acoustic laid back thing, mm -hmm. and then to see that and this. Yeah. Right. Like, we already know he's versatile. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what I almost ex didn't expect him to sound as good as he did yeah. after seeing the video, but that just goes to show you. Also, shout out, um, Alex and Sierra did this on X Factor, and it slayed I think well. the, I think this guy, could, I think he could very well be, like, this season's Chris Jameson. Like, that's he, who he reminded me of. He's a talented guy, he does the R&B, he's mm -hmm. a good-looking guy. 
Girls are gonna love him. Moms are gonna love him. <laughs> Maybe not as sexy as Chris James. Yeah, Chris, like, but he grew. He grew. Yeah, that's in true. He, he didn't did. turn out sexy. And Chris, it was more of Chris's performance that made him sexy. Yeah. The way he moved his body, that was like, yeah. Yeah, but you, you, at the beginning, at the beginning of the season, remember when he did he wasn't. jealous? Okay, yes. we should talk about that's, season. Okay. 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 So that's all we got for Team Pharrell. I think his team is pretty stacked right his now. Team, his team's looking pretty good. He has a solid team. Let's for predictions tonight. Let's pick who has the strongest team okay. so far. Let's go to Very Team well. Christina then. From last week, night two, first we're going to talk about Gabrielle, who's the 26-year-old from Seattle, and she's saying, don't think twice. He's it's, saying. He's saying, don't th- Oh, Gabriel. Ga- oh, wolf child. Let wolf just, child. Let me just yeah. read my notes. The don't wolf, think wolf twice. Child. It's all right. Yeah, wolf child. First off, cool name. Um, Your brother trips me out, though. And I can't believe he didn't go with Adam. I was really shocked he went with Christina because his I style wasn't, is so but he different. also kind of looked like he crushed on her mad hard, right? Yeah, like, yeah, with the yeah. quickness, he was like, I just want to be around you. I just closed my eyes and listened to this, and I feel like I'm listening to the Garden State soundtrack. Oh, I like that. And now it's yeah. a, that's a great soundtrack. His yeah, vibrato actually strangely reminds me of John Legend. Well, I like yeah. that. It's like that very, was, like, raw. Yeah, and it was very effortlessly, the way he, like, performed, and he didn't have to move around a lot. Look at the way his, he's projecting yeah. his voice. And he kind of looks like Johnny Depp. Yeah. Not really, but... Really? Yeah. He weird. just has, like, a cool... He has a cool presence, a cool energy, and I think Christina's really Good into vibes, that. Good vibes, man, and, you know, it probably comes from the family, dude. Yeah, for real. <laughs> uh, I think Christina's into that this season, so I think she's really going to like him and probably have a lot of fun with him. Wouldn't it be kind of He's fun to fun hear her. her make him do, like, the voice within or something? Yes. <laughs> Take or, us by storm. Um... <laughs> Or if he, she made him do Unpretty by TLC. Oh. I would I, appreciate that. <laughs> that song is just the best song, and she wants everyone Chloe to sing that song TLC always. TLC on The Voice every season. Yes, but I agree. That 20 Fine. second alarming. That's, that's great. I know. That was a different oh. TLC song. <laughs> it's all right. Right, but that's my TLC song. That's your song. TLC song. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Joe, the 21-year-old from Sacramento. Our He's annual saying, Samoa. To love somebody. This all right. We always every season we have a Samoa on here who's really good, but doesn't make it to live. Wait, do we? Yes, every season. <laughs> we have a, a who we had a Samoan on Idol too. Who does great in the blinds? I'm not commenting on this. Possibly no, does but okay this about. guy is incredible. I like this guy a lot. Island singers are amazing. My one, my one word with him. Island, but my one word know. with him was. In the part of the song where he tried to go down to the low register, it sounded like he struggled a little bit. So I'm afraid if all of a sudden he has to do more chest tone songs, he might, it might hurt him. Mm, no, he looks like somebody who stays singing all the time. I'm sure he's going to be great. Well, I want I him to because I enjoy I him. I think he's good. I just, people hate when we say marketable. I don't think that's, that's But that's yeah, all it is. I don't think I he's agree. marketable. That's what I was going to say, but stay away from it. He does. actually reminded me of Ruben Stuttered. Oh, he does kind of have that similar he started to singing. And so like, maybe he sings Sorry for 2004. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yeah. I do. How do you apologize Anyways, for an entire continue, year? Chloe. But <laughs> I was just really inspired by your Ruben Stuttered comments. I know. His energy was very similar. Like, just, like, lovely teddy bear. Great. Yeah. Soul singer. Like, well, absolutely we soul singer. know that they don't have lasting careers. I mean, Ruben Stutter, <laughs> hey, he was on Biggest Loser, okay? they He got kicked off and brought back on. Okay? Yeah, he was very successful sealed. on... The oh, biggest that, loser. I feel a little uncomfortable right now. Dude. Anyways. Anyways, I'm Team Christina for, for him. Team Christina. We're just going off. Let's talk about Sonic from tonight. She sang Money on My Mind <laughs> by <laughs> Sam Smith. <laughs> <laughs> I love her look. She was signed before. I got it. I got it. She's doing it. Sonic rings. We got you. When you get oh. rings in the Sonic video game. I thought yes. she was really, really good. Um, I think her transition between her head voice and chest voice is a little shaky. Yes. Like, she can't connect it. Listen. Like, when she goes, money on my mind. Yep, it's like, money on my mind. No, she took, she took like an extra breath, like money on my mind. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we don't all have to do it. Let's all try <laughs> it one more time. Okay, Let's but money on my mind. So, uh, she, I like her voice. Right oh, here. it is. See? Yeah, it's it was. So but when between. she hits mine, it's on. Oh yes. yeah, she lands on that. But what? it's awkward. My Do you think is, it's intentional? Uh, no, she's just trying to hit both notes at the same time, but doesn't know how to transition the two. I think that she sound, she has the R&B voice that I feel like I've missed. I could hear her collaborating with a lot of today's artists, but I thought that she was sharp in a lot of them, and um, 
like her breath support's off. I just think she's a little. Her voice had such a nasally quality, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Versus like when you hear Sam Smith sing it, it's like smooth nasal. Hers what? is. Oh, I thought you're saying I'm saying Sam Smith has a smooth nasally sound. Yeah, I thought you were just trying to rip on Sam Smith. Oh, yeah. how, how, can, how, can sure. be how can it be smooth? How can smooth and we're nasally like, in the same me. sentence? Yeah, that didn't make sense. She's saying he has a really good falsetto. There we go. Um, she, for those of you listening, Stephanie just nodded. I did. Sorry. Uh, she knows. <laughs> I, I think she. Expression. I think she has a really good look, though. Yeah. Like she she's does. she's very memorable, which I think will be good. I think she just needs to see maybe less piercing. of a difficult song. That nose piercing was on point. Yeah, I think she can also. I think yeah, it's. I think Christina will be able to hear her voice, pick a good song for her, and I think they're going to be a great team, and she's Absolutely. actually going to be really strong in the competition. Right. And Christina's going to know how to coach her perfectly. Oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. No one else would yeah. have. No, that's so, like, no, I can, she'll be able to cater to her. Definitely the right coach. Style. She'll teach her cool little tricks mm-hmm. for that transition. Exactly. Christina's final member was India Carney, who was the last person that went tonight. She sang New York State of Mind, and she's the classically trained singer from UCLA. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What's interesting about her voice is I feel like if she wasn't classically trained, it would have been a mess, because her voice is so big and powerful, but she knows how to, like, let it go and sound really raw, but it's actually super controlled. And because she's trained. Yeah. The first thing that popped in my mind when she, when she started singing was, I want her to sing Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton so badly. Dude, All I right. thought that too. Did you? Yeah. I, yeah. She would kill Wait, it. I totally thought that. I wrote in my notes. That's so crazy. I, I freaking love that song. Yes. And her deep voice. Could you? Yes. I mean, this girl has, India has range for days. And a really cool name, by the way. It is a really yes. cool name. Right, right now, I, I, I'm picking her to win so far. She, I would say right now, is the best vocalist in yeah. the competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stephanie G, would you so have some good. thoughts? So good. I think she's great, but I I don't know. You know, it's that connection thing. This type doesn't win the show, though. We've That's what seen. I'm saying. Yeah. I know. I mean, clearly this she's incredible, Hill. right? Yeah. I was just really impressed. But I mean, any woman Judith who sings Hill. Billy okay. Joel like that. But one the one difference with Judith Hill and her is she's only twenty one. Judith yeah, Hill was true. an older one. That's well, true. not I'm not yeah. old per se, but she was in like in her thirties. I 30s. forget she's twenty one. She looks older. It'll actually her be interesting straight. to see what Christina does with her. Yeah. Because I think it's just going to be about song song choice. Like Christina yeah. and, and yes. Alicia Keys did a song together called Impossible, and I would love to hear India sing that. Oh, after I'm there's a I'm lot of runs, and it's like it's perfect. Impossible, for her. yeah. For me to love you. I was thinking of this. Impossible. Or from Cinderella, Impossible. <gasps> for a thing, yeah, the pumpkin to be. Let's just like the voice sing long hour tonight. We are sorry. Christian, don't you rush me. For when you're all singing yeah, some, pumpkin to be. When you're all singing in my Cinderella, own little corner, in my Let's own little Let's talk about something. Team Blake so Christian can just be happy. <laughs> First up, you don't want to hear from, no Roger and Hammerstein? Yeah, okay. Whatever. First up from night two is Brooke, and she's a 16 year old who sang Skinny Love. The country girl? No, that's Elva. She was good. Nothing really Im- impressed me from this performance, but. There's always a couple of these singers that show up on the show where at the beginning I'm just like, eh. And then as they kind of go on, it's like, oh, wait, that's why people liked her to begin with. And I have a feeling she's going to be one of those. I think this song maybe didn't blow me away, but I think she has potential to, like, move us. Mm -hmm. She's young, She played the piano, too, correct? Was this her playing the piano? No. No. Ooh, sorry. He he wanted to like you more. Yeah, yeah he work. wanted to have this little like Dia fantasy with her. I did. I was thinking like, oh, so maybe she's not that memorable. Though. She's not she's for me. Not, not for right now. But we'll see what happens with yeah. her. I mean, she's I think, on Team Blake, y'all. This is Blake's like bread and butter. Yeah. Yes. But Blake's got a lot of teenagers on his team. Blake always has. Always. I know, but apparently Blake has a farm where they all live. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think he does. I'm not With kidding. his first cousin, and he's got you no, off I on the back. I think he has like bunk beds where all of his contestants. Dude, sleep. that would camp Blake. I want to see that. That's oh, I want to go to that camp. That's when. That's when that. Different kind of camp stuff. The oh. producers hopefully are watching because when they go into the live rounds, they need to as a joke like how we like have him like yeah be like. Blowing a whistle and then like getting out of bed and campfire running, with running a guitar. around his exactly. arms. Exactly, that's so campfire good. with a guitar. They're all in, like sleeping bags singing funny. together. Beverly we, Hills. Oh, we are all over the place tonight. Let's talk about Kelsey May, another 15-year-old. 
She's saying you're Loretta Lynn. And I you're thought looking she at was country. kind of basic. No. Oh wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry. My note said that apparently I needed to know the song. Yes, this okay. song she Chloe, did. You let it out. Yeah. <clears throat> This Little Adeline is not easy to sing. <laughs> not only did this girl get her attitude right, she added her own runs to this song, and but did it in a Loretta Lynn type style, and it was incredible. I thought she's awesome. She's one of my favorites in the competition. I mean, she she has a great voice, but I just th this song I thought was just I, I didn't I couldn't hear it the way that you were hearing it. I think because the song is so country yeah. that I have a hard time relating to it. And I, I'm i trying to figure out with this sort of voice what she can do exactly. to maintain. Like, I think it was oh my a good performance. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? I can hear her singing that Coyote Ugly song. What Coyote Ugly song? The, From the movie. I don't know. The oh, that one. The Anne Rimes girl. The Anne Rimes at midnight. The midnight one? No. Am I, am I the one? only? Am I the no. only one who was watching her and was thinking, "Oh, Blake's got a brunette Danielle Bradbury now." I was thinking of a different song. Uh, I think she's a little more country than Danielle, actually. Even yeah. more country than Danielle. Yeah, and she connects so much better. I think she's gonna be better than Danielle. Hmm. I'm very excited We're about huge her. Danielle fans, she has. Though. She can do a Casey Musgrave song. Actually, that would be perfect. She can do for Pistol her. Annie's. She can do any like a ton of Miranda stuff, especially early Miranda, like. This girl can, she can do a lot. Yeah, I mean, she sounds it. like an authentic country singer. I don't, so I don't, I, I don't I, think we've had anybody like her on the show before, right. so that's kind of exciting. At least this young. Okay, other yeah. Blake member was Jacob Rummel, and he sang Count On Me by Bruno oh Mars. This God. is just adorable. He was yes. the Loved triplet. him. And that you think it's a girl. Ooh, it's nice to hear it without looking yeah. at him. Ugh. It's yeah. so clear. It sounds like a twenty-year-old girl. It's, it's so, so crisp. Cr yes, crisp. Yeah. Like, a, oh, I just thought of an East Coast oyster. <laughs> I'm sorry, but those As are just like perfect little like. Stephanie said it's crisp as an East Coast oyster. I feel oyster. like Stephanie's on drugs it. today. <laughs> I know Stephanie. Did. I know that's how I'm acting. I apologize, but it is sorry because he said crisp and that's what I thought of. But it's just very. It's on point. It sounds perfect. You know, it's just he's so cute. I love him. Like. All of his reactions, his you speaking voice, it, he's yeah. so sweet. And he, he reminds giggles. me of like Colby Calais and Shawn Mendes had a love yeah. child. <laughs> and this is what it, what came out. Yeah. It's just like very pure and sweet. Well, and because good. I like the comparison that Adam used as far as his innocence go. And you, but know? you can hear it in his I, voice. That's my point. It's per yeah. I'm so, are you guys surprised who went with Blake? Actually, I yes. was actually, but I think this will be really good for Blake to have somebody like this because he can almost do what he does with the young girls. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just gonna stop the sentence. I know, it right? Really wrong. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm saying. When, when it comes to Blake, it's young the puns. girls who are like kind of singer songwritery. Yeah, I think this will be perfect for Jacob. Though. Cool. I feel he just sounds like he could do any song though. Oh, for sure. I don't know about that. For yeah. jerseys. <laughs> for sure. I don't know for about that. I'm out of it. Well, let's talk about Team Adam then. And, um, and his roster, his army that he picked tonight. Just, I mean, he picked a lot of people. He just picked anybody. Because he's, he's just exactly desperate. He's desperate and vulnerable. <laughs> I agree. Um, Season eight. Night two, we had desperate. Tanya, the 35-year-old from New Orleans, who sang Happy. I loved her story. I loved her. Yes, her story was so cool. She, she helps right. out prison inmates. She sings with them. Um, just so cool. I like. I'm really glad she got picked. She's a little bit of like what we see a lot where they don't really make it to live rounds so yeah. much. Or she reminds me of The Voice season one. Frenchie. Yeah. I like um, I like that her high note was a high low note, if that makes any sense. Like it was very deep and strong, but it was still a high note. Or maybe it was just she went down. It was like a low run, right? I have absolutely no idea. Right I know. Part... No, you're you're lost, losing this. Really? Um, yeah. Okay, at the point where where like Pharrell turns around. She does one of her runs and it's like, uh, and like her voice changes. Well, maybe it's she like was deep. excited that Pharrell turned. I, don't know. I think she has a good voice. I don't think she has a great voice. I can hear it. Right here. When this starts, hold on. Oh, so wow. Well, that, that, we couldn't tell. That better because be Jesus calling. <laughs> Stephanie decided to leave her phone on. Next time her phone does that, I'm answering it on the air. Oh, that's such a good idea. Okay, let's talk about... Um, I, I want to say the name of the person right now on live that I saw the night. <laughs> let's pay attention. I'm talking. I'm sorry. Let's I was talk distracted about by Bla phone ringing. Shh. Let's talk about Blaze, the 23-year-old from Columbus who's saying how to save a life. Yo, Blaze is This rad. was good. I'm actually surprised more people don't do this song on the show. Right? 
Well, I, I like, he's the other one that's, um, he doesn't sound like he looks. He's like the white guy, the white guy who has a soulful voice, but this is yeah. like this, you know, this black kid who doesn't, ha he's not singing Motown, he's singing Kings of Leon. Awesome. Or the phrase. Yeah. Or the yeah. phrase, yeah. sorry. Yeah. They like, sound the same to me. I was gonna say this five is, for fighting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dear Jesus. I think he sounds really good. I think this is the perfect song choice for him, and I think the song choice sets him apart. It does, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's and I think look. Adam got lucky with that because I think, you know, if the other coaches would have known that he looked the way he looked, yeah, then they would have turned around for him. And how cool! This guy's name is Blaze, and he's Blaze Junior. And he was like, Little "Yeah, Blaze. I'm Little Blaze." Little and Blaze. Pharrell like fell in love with him when he said Pharrell that. just gave him his name. Like he just trademarked yeah. him. He was like, was "You gotta go cool. with little little Blaze." I know. And his story is cool too. Like his mm -hmm, dad is Caribbean, and then he like you know always wanted to be a singer, but really wasn't allowed. Or like you know people weren't picking him and allowing him. And he just did so good. I, I, it was really cool. I just like the part because his father was a custodian. I like when his dad said, um, "You know, son, just be be better than what I am." Aww. You know, that's sweet. Yeah, he's he's. By far one of my favorites so far. Even even if he doesn't win or anything, it's just like he's one of my favorite people on this show. Yeah, he makes cool. good TV. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Deanna. She's the 18 year old returning from season five. She's saying all I want. I mean, this is a country girl too. She has a cool, deep, different voice. Almost like a Melissa Etheridge quality. Too. Yeah. I was almost thinking yeah. Cher esque. A little bit. I mean, all in that kind of same range, and she. Mm -hmm. Yeah, audition season five and they gave her notes and she's like a rodeo singer and she came back and I made it to I the show. I actually love when she like goes really deep and then into her falsetto really quick. Just mm -hmm. like, just tingles it and then right. comes back down. <laughs> a double -double. But notice how that transition was done a little bit better than yeah. the R&B girl. Sonic. That's, That's yeah, how you do Sonic, it. There Sonic. You go. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Eight. But yeah, she was she was great, and I'm glad she's back on the show. I love these stories. Yeah, I feel like we all back. love seeing, especially those of us who watch every single episode. Right, <laughs> well, we like just, a little return. I like to see that they're actually putting forth the effort. I think it is crazy though. Thing. The ones that leave and go play live shows and actually take their notes. Oh, he's coming nine back. Nine times better. out of ten, make it yeah. when they come back. And yep. not only make it, usually like go really far. Yeah, yeah. usually like get locked to live rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If not like a Jake Worthington where they're like in third place, you know, yeah. top three. Exactly. Like it's just really cool. So it's definitely possible. And I think the coaches I think they like it so much too and they I think they give notes to people hoping that they will come back. Yeah. Right. You know, like listen to what we're telling you. We're gonna coach you right mm -hmm. now. Come back. Like, Especially for every set. time that they hear a voice that they think sounds great but is missing something, then they turn around and they're like, oh man, and you look great. So you can have something that comes out of yeah. like, what you're trying to do, but just be better at it. Practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next we've got Michael Layer who's saying Last Kiss. Okay, Gnarly. this guy does not look like he sings in any way. And Adam kind of sounded like an idiot when he was talking and was like, yeah, you don't sound like Eddie Vedder, and I like it. First off, he this kid sounds exactly like, like Eddie Vedder, but in in, in a way, way, in a way where you he looks like he's giving no effort to sing. Yes. I've never seen anyone sing so well and look like they're just like the way he was walking with their around. Friends. Yeah. yeah. See, for me, so that was actually I would have turned around right away, and then I would have been a little disappointed because, because no he stage also presence. had the deer and had yes. like no stage presence. He, he, yes, he had dead eyes. But I think I think he'll be easy to coach out of that, where. Like, I just think he was like, I think it's good that he was so calm and just kind of like, this voice comes out of his face. Yeah. Right. And I <laughs> of think his face, his, exactly, I think literally like. Adam, like that other guy, I can't remember his name now, but Adam is so good with stage presence that they're the perfect pairing because he doesn't need any vocal help. He's yeah. insane. Who's the guy a few seasons ago, Jason, you were in love with him. He was on Adam's team. Kind of nerdy guy. Je oh, no, that was not sure. Oh, oh, my God. Uh, his name's escaping uh, now. This James. guy... James, no, I Wolpert? remember. Thank James you, James Wolpert. Wolpert. The Wolf Pack. He kind of, Pack. He kind of reminds me. I mean, obviously, he's not yeah, like the look of it, voices, but similar actually. voices and similar stature on stage when I he started. I wonder what his falsetto is like. And you he know what? Do some mad times. You're right. Adam really worked with James on his, yeah. and yeah. he like brought a character out of he James. Him, I think so, he can do it with him. 
I think this guy is going to be able to do really cool, like, uh, Kurt Cobain. Like, he's going to be able to hit that entire Ooh. 90s grunge rock genre. Yeah. When was the last time anyone so did Nirvana good. on this show? I don't think do, are they well to? ever. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe they might, they might not they be allowed to. Be approved. Um, final of the night was Barry Minfield. AKA Barry Manilow, might as well be. He's saying me and Mrs. Jones. I love yeah. the song. Um, good song. He's, he's good. He's cute. He's good, but same Palm Springs, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm <laughs> and sorry. That's not he's not fair. great. That's not fair, but that's I why liked it's him. like, don't let them. That's why I feel like they should put an age limit onto the but show. But I, I think at, at a point, it's like if you're competing against your grandfather, it's all. I don't want to say laughable because he's a very talented musician. He's good. But you're you're not gonna at 65 break into the pop music scene. Right. Yeah. Now I know I know I might be reaching with this point. I'm not saying the same thing is going to happen with him. But last season, everyone was saying Craig would not win because he was the older man. He was the oldest of the remaining people and was kind of out of touch with them. Now, granted, he's 34. This guy's 52. I but, never thought that about Craig. No, but I always I never thought he should have won. <laughs> but, oh, but I'm I saying like a lot of people were thinking like, oh, he was going to be kind of out of the competition based on his age. This guy can sing. Yeah, but this guy's yeah, but, double the age of Craig. Exactly. Not and, that we're ageist. Right. We're, be, we're realistic. Yeah, no, but he's, it was also 34 for country <laughs> music. That doesn't. Realist. That's yeah. young. That's a baby in that in that music. And the R&B soul, realistic. you can be in the 40s and you 50s. You can be, but it's, it's one of those. very Gerald But Laverne. even in competition, I'd be like, oh, I have to respect my elders, you know? I, yeah. I wouldn't even be comfortable to compete with someone like that because I think it's they're tough. in a different... It's tough, too, because the coaches Division. feel like they're above them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm giving you notes. So I think when someone's older than them, they ha- they maybe aren't as harsh or something. Or, like, I don't know. I just feel like... It's a, it's a weird situation a little bit. I feel like I'm glad he made it on the show, and I hope it makes him more popular so that he sells out more shows in Palm Springs. <laughs> or at oh, the Improv really here in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. Well, that wraps it up. Um, y'all want to get into some predictions? Yeah, who do we think has the best team so far? Because blinds aren't over yet. No, we still got t- uh, Tuesday and then Monday. We'll so two more up. nights of blinds. Let's pick the team that we want to win. Already? So far? Yeah. Okay, I got my team. Okay, go. Because I don't. Ready? <laughs> Let's all say our teams on three. Oh, God, I got to pick one. one. I got to pick two, one. Two, okay. three. For Christina. Oh, we just wow, that's weird. Yes. Huh. Okay, well, we're covered except for nobody's Jason picking Adam. God, Jason yelled it. Christina! <laughs> I thought everyone was going to pick her. No. You know what? I was thinking about it because of um, the the girl with the deaf parents. Oh, yeah. yeah. I really like her sound. I but... think Adam's team is kind of wah, wah, wah. Oh, absolutely. Let's, let's all pray for Adam. Because but... think about Adam in the past. He's always had, like, the three strong ones in oh, the end. Yeah, but you no. know what? Right, with, right now, he, with he's got steel, pretty much Blaze. I think the that's steel, his only real matters. big one right now. Yeah, what, crazy. Um, I guess that's true. Huh? You got any news and gossip, friends? No. No, not <laughs> not because it's still it's not live yet. You Chloe know? is gonna do a phone call with all the judges tomorrow. I will be mm-hmm. yeah, I will be phoning in and uh, on a conference call with uh, the judges and I think the contestants from tonight's show. Okay, so we'll get all that info for next week. If we'll have, have a bunch of news and gossip. Tell her. She'll if ask. you guys have questions, please tweet at me today. Um, the call is at eleven a.m. Western time, so you guys can get them in. Until then, and I i mean, I can read the tweets then, too, if you guys want to be getting them in. And I'll be able to tweet out some answers to some things. If not, we'll tell you all on the show on Monday. Um, so, yeah, that will be very cool. Perfect. Well, this has been a fantastic episode. Stupendous. And we will continue all of our lovely opinions on social media. Christian, where can we find you? You can find me on Twitter, once again, at Real Rosenberg. And if you listen to music and also watch wrestling which I know is a very even demographic. You can um, also tune in to SmackDown Thursday nights here on AfterBuzz, because I host that. Steffi G. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Stephanie Georgie, G-I-O-R-G-I. Feel free to tweet me during the show. Sorry that I had my ringer on. And find <laughs> me, me on Instagram at <laughs> Steffi G47. And you guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Chloe West X. Remember to tweet me all your questions for the contestants and the judges for tomorrow. And I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Jason Eichler. And you can find AfterBuzz TV on everything at AfterBuzz TV. We'll see you guys in here next week. 
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff. We would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. I hope you I'm right, I have.